You want to eat some Mexican food on island time? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. A portion of today's episode is sponsored by Ship Station, but more on that later. I love Mexican food, and anytime I get to enjoy some Hawaiian food, it's a real treat, but mm-hmm. I've never had the pleasure of tasting these flavors in a complete symphonic harmony. Oh, but that's what we're gonna do today, my buddy. And in doing so, we do wanna continue to send our love and support to the many, many people who've been affected by the wildfires in Maui. Uh, We've made a donation to the Maui Strong Fund to help support them in their time of need. And if you're in a position to do so, we hope that you'll join us. Yes, now with that being said, let's see what magic the mythical kitchen has conjured up this time. It's time for Hawaiian Mexican versus Mexican Hawaiian. Aloha, mis amigos, and muchos mahalo. We put today's Hawaiian Mexican versus Mexican Hawaiian matchups on our Instagram, and the Mythical Beasts voted on what they thought you'd like better. The Mythical Kitcheneers made those dishes, and we're going to see how well the beasts can predict your tastes. They'll get a point for each round, the majority of them guessed correctly. If they get three or more points, you'll have to write a celebratory acrostic poem for them in Good Mythical More. Okay. Okay. But if they don't, the beast will have to go to our Instagram, find the photo of you guys holding a tamale, and they must comment, that's a tamale, I stink by golly. Ooh, you must. That's that's harsh. That's I delivered must. that in a rhyme. That was pretty, I didn't know it was going to come out, but yeah. it, it came out. It certainly did. First up, Can we move on? we've got a Hawaiian barbecue taco flight oh, versus Huevos Rancheros Loco Moco. Okay. Let's start over here because this you understand I, I, this. I get this. Yeah, yeah, you understand this. It a taco is a Mexican food. Yeah, and then it's got. But then on yeah. inside of it is Hawaiian foods. Yeah, yeah. Now, Trevor, I see you got the macaroni salad, which is you know uh, it brings me to a Hawaiian flair. But you have got three different types of meat. I see. Yes, that is correct. Um, so that's just Hawaiian barbecue beef, Hawaiian barbecue chicken, and Hawaiian barbecue pork. Uh, oh my god. Pork. Good lord. I was kind of hoping you guys would like Lady in the Tramp the tacos. Oh, we know Maybe you like did. <laughs> we know your horny ass did. <laughs> <laughs> These are great. I mean, do I even need to taste the beef? Do I? I do. I do. I do. While I'm eating this, can you tell me what a They're loco so moco good. is? Because um, yeah. that's just the Hawaiian thing. Yeah. So and I need to know what that is first. <laughs> Loco Moco is white rice topped with a hamburger patty, brown gravy, and a fried egg. Really? Yeah. And then you huevos rancheroed it up. Yeah, yeah. So I, I just uh, got some refried bean beef patty. Um, so there is beef and refried beans in there. Uh, made some tortilla chip sticky rice. Look at that. Uh, tortilla of... chip sticky rice? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know, crazy. Uh, that is a tall slab of beef. Yeah, and then some salsa roja and a nice spice fried egg. Time to get it all here. Mmm. Oh, I'm gonna have to eat it one at a time. So loco Whoa. is a Spanish word. I believe it is. But it's in the Hawaiian dish. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> That's loco. Sometimes when it's hard to make a really good bite because there's so many like <laughs> tempting pieces. <laughs> I'm choking on that heart. <laughs> and it makes you choke. These are, these are all signs of a winner. Yeah, we're having a great time, Trevor. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I love you guys. <laughs> wow. We know you do. This is not easy. It's these not... tacos are excellent. They are excellent. I, I love everything about them. If I'm gonna be negative though. <laughs> it's still a taco. Well, the rice. Not really necessary in a taco. Oh, okay. I, I don't think you need rice you in a taco. You said it. I mean, rice in a burrito, yeah, not rice in a taco. I wasn't gonna have to say anything negative about these to move over here, so you just kind of make Trevor feel bad. I don't, I'm gonna make him feel bad. Um, this is something, bad? yeah, he's, yeah, I know Trevor's love language. <laughs> Words of affirmation. Mm-hmm. It is. Yep, yeah, see? Hey. You're, tr- you're trying hard. You know, oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I know that's not that your love language. <laughs> You're doing great, is what. 
They, this they, is excellent. No, this was really great. They taste. They both taste great, but this is Sunny something Ryan. that you, you, you'd write a letter about. Like when you finish it, you would be like, Dear Margaret, you know, <laughs> today I had from Trevor, horny ass. Uh, <laughs> what'd you call this? What's, what, what'd I like you, how <laughs> you decided to add the, the S. Huevos Rancheros Loco Moco. I'm just gonna eat You'd this. write Margaret about this. You're, you're gonna keep the barbecue taco flight to yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like with that being said. They are both great and all of your, all of your trials and tribulations paid off. Yes. Thank you. 63% of the Mythical Beasts thought you would like the Hawaiian barbecue taco flight better. You're wrong, most of you. Nope. Yeah. Most of you are wrong, but I understand why. You didn't really believe in don't, Trevor. I don't even know what he's talking about with that second To the point that one. you should have. This thing right here, off the charts new. Yes. Next up we have the Spam Masubi Tamale wow. versus the Beef Birria Manapua. Okay. Oh my goodness. So obviously we know the Spam is big in Hawaiian cuisine. We know what a tamale is. What is the Musubi? Um, spam Masubi is the name of the dish, but essentially it's Spam with rice wrapped in nori and then it's got a sauce that's made from soy sauce and oyster sauce. Okay. okay. So it's, okay, got it. And it's wrapped in a, in a, in a corn husk. Yes. Because it's still a tamale. Yes. <laughs> it, it, it sure is. There's also a soy sauce enchilada sauce on top. Soy sauce enchilada sauce? Yeah, a little fun flavor combo. Wow. Yeah, it tastes interesting. You definitely get that enchilada. I mean, you get them both equally. Well, wow. ever had that anywhere else? <laughs> me neither. This is definitely doing some things for me. The spam musubi. Musubi? It, it doesn't really give me a bad spam experience. Okay. Very starchy, but new and original. Now, the beef birria has like kind of taken over Los Angeles, mm -hmm. you know, the past few years. The, is the Manapua just like a, a dumpling kind of situation? Yeah, Manapu is uh, very similar to a Cantonese dish called Chashu Bao, um, which is yes. barbecue pork in a bao bun. Okay, um, yes. So yeah, very similar to that. It's birria in a soft bao-esque bun uh, with cilantro and onions and consomme on the side. Do you grab some of that and we can just half this one? Well, uh, well I didn't get you a whole other one. D dip it. Oh, I'm going to dip it. Okay, Do you good. want me to dip it whole or torn? Uh, probably torn. Okay. Well, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Already there. Doing you a little gave bit. Me a dumpling with basically nothing in it. I mean, I was like, oh. yeah, I know. I was trying to give you some of the meat. You want me to grab meat from your your part and put it in my part? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> that's, a, that's an insult. <laughs> yeah. See, you made the chef laugh. Yeah. Over something that I really have not been thinking about. Mmm. That's special. It I is. Mean, how could that not be good, right? I mean, especially when you can dip it in this. That sauce is so good, man. If I had more of the enchilada soy sauce, which I think is my highlight of this dish over here, I think it would rival this more. I actually think my least favorite part of this is the soy sauce, so I think that um, we're both on team birria. Which one did you like better? I haven't eaten them yet. Seriously? Oh. Well, I had, oh, sorry, I had the tamale. I didn't have one of the buns. Okay, well, we left one for you. Thank you. How do you know if it's how you want it to be if you haven't tasted it? Well, I taste the different components. I just didn't taste them all together. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a vision. Wow. 76% of the mythical beasts thought you'd like the beef birria manapua better. Yeah. Okay, it, you're back on track. It's so good. So good. Before we get to tasting our next flavor infusion, this portion of today's episode is sponsored by ShipStation, the leading order management and shipping software on the internet. So if you sell stuff online, open up those ears. Wouldn't it be nice if you could automate everything? No more hard decisions every morning about what to wear or what you wanna eat for lunch. 
We just set up our automatic decision makers and let them run. Well, until the robots fully take over, some things still have to be done manually, but thanks to ShipStation, shipping is not one of those things. So if you're an e-commerce business owner like we are, you know how much work goes into the shipping process. With ShipStation, you can automate routine shipping tasks and manage everything from one simple dashboard. Print shipping labels, easily compare rates, and automate delivery notifications. And ShipStation provides industry-leading discounts, so when you ship with them, you'll never have to worry you're not getting the best price. ShipStation can help you get up to 84% off UPS and USPS rates. And it's one of the many reasons why 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. If you've been curious about trying out ShipStation, now's the perfect time to try it out. You can get started today for free by using our promo code to get a two month free trial. Spend more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash GMM today and sign up for a free 60 day trial. That's ShipStation.com slash GMM. Thanks again to ShipStation for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Stevie, up what we next, got? We have Pipi Kaula Pozole. Mm and chicken chili verde long rice. Okay, so we got some two soup fusion. Well, this is more like a noodle, two bowl fusions. Trevor, uh, tell us about the, these two dishes that you have combined over here in the pozole. Uh, yeah, so, well, pozole is a pretty traditional Mexican stew. Um, it's made with hominy, which is like a maize kernel that's been dried and like scienced to be really good and delicious. Um, dried and scienced. Yeah, they use science to do it. Uh, and then pipicaula is a type of Hawaiian. It's almost like a jerky. Um, they take short rib and they marinate it, and then they cook it at a very low temperature for a long period of time. Interesting. Um, yeah. Dang, yes. And then, so pipicaula, so it's typically eaten like a beef jerky? Yeah, yeah, usually it's just eaten in strips, and that is the bone-in version, um, so be careful, don't bite any bones. I just swallowed a bone. Well, it's a little late to say that. <laughs> well, you would have known if you'd bit one by now. That's really tasty. Yeah, it is. And it feels like something that... It's, it's, it's like a it beef stew. It doesn't necessarily feel like a... I think the best fusions are fusions that don't present as fusions. You would just be like, this is just a dish. This is just a dish. That's, it exists somewhere, you know what I mean? The just, best fusions make no confusions. Exactly. That was a banger, dude. <laughs> Watch for bones. Yeah, man. Got another bite. Keeps getting better. And what mm -hmm. about this over here? You know, searching for that bone. This feels pretty straightforward, right? I mean, glass noodles. Who doesn't like chicken chili verde? Who doesn't like long rice? That's so. Is true, this dude. long rice? <laughs> yeah, those are glass noodles. It, which they call long rice. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's some really long rice. You're telling me, buddy. <laughs> that rice is so long, I would call it a noodle. Look how long it is. I'm sorry, I'm going to deposit some of my noodle onto the desk. Uh, why are you gonna deposit? Because you're gonna bite it? No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Whoa. Ooh, that what? has got a nice flavor. And that's- What's that tang? That's the verde, chili verde, man. Mm. That's one of my favorite flavors in the Mexican cuisine. I mean, the the long rice, it's not the most appetizing look for me. But the taste, I, like, I really thought I was gonna like that one better, but like, with the verde, it's just. I'm coming back over here because this is not easy for me. The thing is, I feel like I'm just eating a beef stew. I feel like I've had that before. Watch for bones. But I don't feel like I've had now this I'm telling before. myself. I mean, did you taste both of these? I did. And what's your pick? Ah! Yeah, what the heck, dude? I'm not don't telling you. Don't violate the rules. I'm picking this one. I think you might be right. Even though they're both great. I, there, I, there's nothing I don't like about the long rice, so I'm with you on this Aren't one. you surprised? That you like it? No. That it's, it's, oh. <laughs> it's, the, one we're, it's the one we're picking. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have necessarily known it. What about you? Maybe the case. I kind of like the pozole more. Okay, well, all right. This one was really tight. Really tight. Are you with us or are you with Trev? Turbo Daddy. <laughs> turbo Daddy. Uh, meaning his daddy called him Turbo. Yeah, yeah. 52% wow. of the Mythical Beasts thought you would like the Pipi Kaula Puzzle. Oh, you're wrong. 
song. You're with Trib. Ooh, get ready. Get that tamale ready. <laughs> and last up for dessert, we've got poi conchas served with a poi champurado what? versus tres leches jalpia. Okay. Poi makes it poipo. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, 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 know, I know that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had, had some pum poi before. Poi is like a tasteless paste. Yeah, yeah kind of. Yeah. <laughs> it's made from taro root, which is pretty mild in flavor. And what is the what is the conscious part of this? It's like um, uh, conscious or just a. I'm going to be unconscious if I keep eating this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's worth a shot. Yeah. <laughs> when you when you know you're saying the most dad joke in the world, just do a voice like this so that right. people know that you know it's not actually funny. Yeah. No. Makes my poipal thing even better. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that looks good. It's just a solid baked good there. It's just a nice sweet bread with actual uh, boiled taro root in it. Do you think we should dip or we follow? I'd go with dip, maybe. Mm. Well, you dip because I, I'm gonna follow. Now, is this greasy? What is that? There's bubbles on it. Um, no, so that's champurado, uh, which is a oh, Mexican yeah. hot chocolate mm-hmm. that is made with masa, so it gets really thick and creamy, and then wow. I flavored it with taro um, and poi. Man, that really does it for me. This is the this is so thick. It's this good for a, dipping. This is like the thickest hot chocolate I've ever had. Is that because of the poi? That's because of the masa. Ah, of course. Mm. Man, I love it. It's like drinking hot pudding. And you know me and pudding go way back. Right up your alley. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, right up my alley, man. Wow. My pudding avenue. (laughs) 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 It sounds like a euphemism for something that is not appetizing. I need a fork. (laughs) KG, you saw me looking, thank you. (laughs) Okay, and then over here we've got Three milks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Did you use three different milks? No, I and didn't. The tres leches. Um, Qua- yeah, so that's Qua- Qua- Yeah. Qua- What's a huaupia? Huaupia is it's a type of pudding made with coconut milk and cornstarch. Um, so I made it, but I flavored it with the different flavors of tres leches. Um, so there's like a kind of vanilla cake, sweetened condensed milk on the bottom. Wow. Then there's cinnamon in the middle that's and strawberry leaves. on top. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow, Neapolitan. <laughs> Neapolitan. <laughs> Neapolitan. <laughs> you know what I mean. Well, I had pudding in my mouth, man. I got pudding in my mouth. I can't say Neapolitan right. Neapolitan. <laughs> I'm in pudding heaven over here. Yeah, I, listen, I'll let you decide this round because... This is so good. I like both of them. But there's a lot of gelatinous stuff going on, and I'm not necessarily like when I think gelatinous, it's not my like go-to thing when I think about food that I love. But you need to drive up my Pudding Avenue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> take a little hey, spin. It's a one-way street, and I'm heading the other way. <laughs> <laughs> this is this this is just hard hitting, <laughs> hard hitting. A lot of bread. Bread in the hot chocolate, almost. You know? Almost. <laughs> this right here. This is, this is, this is clean. This is clean burning pudding fuel for my soul. I'm gonna vote for the trash. Really? Wabba. I actually kind of prefer this one a little bit, but what? you know, this is, this is the gelatinous round, so. <laughs> I got my guess. And it doesn't matter anyway because you've already you're already lost. lost. You're already a tamale. Oh man, Trevor, you've outdone yourself. Good work, man. You've Th- turbed it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. you. I am unperturboed. <laughs> <laughs> Neapolitan. <laughs> hey man, I dish it out. I can take it. How'd they do? Fifty-six percent okay. of the mythical beasts thought you'd like the. Tres leches help you better. A little too, okay. a little too late. So two out of four, not bad, but not good Poquito enough. Mas too late. To so her. head over to our Instagram and comment. That's a tamale. I stink by golly. Okay, that's how it works. Yep. You must do it. You must do it. And thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. 
Hey, I'm Dylan. And I'm Jada, and we're from Northfield, Minnesota. Right now, we're looking at Sleeping Giants Ridge in Kauai. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Eating some of that poi. <laughs> Get that poi. Click the top link to watch us guess which body parts are cracking. <laughs> and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Don't miss your chance to win our biggest prize ever. Enter to win the Golden Tea of Mythicality giveaway at mythical.com.